said he is going to the back. I represent the entire people of Shinkafizu Referral Constituency. Mr. Speaker, I am from Zamfara State. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, my motion before you is on the connection of electricity supply to Shinkafi Zulmi Federal Constituency of Zamfara State by the Kaduna Electricity Distribution Company. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, the House knows that the provision of roads, water, electricity, electricity and other social economic activities are fundamental responsibilities of any government being it at the local, state or federal level. Also note that also note that their their responsibilities include education, security and all physical infrastructure and facilities that must be available to all parts of federation to harness economic potentials and increase the prosperity of the people and that of the nation. The House is aware that the electricity transmission and distribution companies are expected to provide infrastructural facilities as well as integrate all parts of Nigeria, including Shinkafi and Zulmi Federal Constituency to the national grid for an effective electricity supply network through functional sub substations, transformers, and other electrical appliances. Also observe that in the last seven years, Mr. Speaker, in the last seven years, the people of Shinkafizu and Federal Constituency have been off the national, grid, the national electricity grid and have not witnessed or experienced electricity supply, thereby living in perpetual darkness discomfort and lack of means to ease economic productivity. Also of that, that the economic activities of the people by extension, by extension their livelihood and prosperity have been continuously hampered in the last seven years, whose eventual impact is progressively pushing them down the poverty ladder. They are, Worried that due to the high rate of insecurity in Zamfara State and Shinkafizu Federal Constituency, specifically the absence of electricity supply from the national grid will continue to impact negatively on the social and economic lives of the people. Also, concerned that the absence of electricity supply in the constituency alienated them, which made the people perceive that they have been neglected and marginalized by the federal government thereby creating dissolution and restiveness among the people. These negate the principle of governance as enshrined in Chapter 2 of the Constitution of the Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended. Prayer, sir. The House do resolve that to ask the Ministry of to ask the Ministry of Power to direct the electricity transmission and distribution company responsible for the Empire State to restore electricity in the constituency. And the second prayer is to mandate the Committee on Power to investigate the persistent absence of power supply and liaise with the appropriate ministries, departments, agencies, and regulatory authority to facilitate economic activities and improve the quality of livelihood of the people of the area. That is Shinkafi and Zulu local government. I do sub submit, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Any seconder? Yes, honorable. Honorable colleagues, um, honorable Dr. Wale Ahmed, I represent the good people of Agege Federal Constituency. Mr. Speaker, I'm from Lagos State. I hereby second the motion moved by Honorable Hassan Shinkafi that uh, Shinkafi Zulmi Federal constituency should be reconnected to the electricity grid. Motion should say aye. Those against should say nay. The ayes have it. This motion is referred to the Committee on Power for further legislative inputs. The 11 In the motion now, I said at least for the first seven years, or not, if, if not more than.
and I know how we have been suffering for that, and I know the contribution we have been making, at least almost every year, and even me, in the subsequent budgets, at least I have been putting in for the supply of transformers and the rest of it, renovation and the rest of it, most especially. You know what happened is this, in that area, there are some major pores that has to be rectified. You know, I can say we have a Sahara in between Kaura to Shinkafi. And if you look at it, in every rainy season, even if there is light, it has to be cut up. And before it will be restored back, it will take like months, several months, even, I can say, for the whole year. And sometimes the community have been making their efforts to see that their light as well has been restored back. But all in vain, even if they do it, at least the same thing will happen. And all the money, their effort, will be rendered useless. So as I am telling you, the only thing that can help those people to have confidence in government, most especially the federal government who is in charge of the national grid, is for them to take the necessary measures for them to at least bring back those people into the national grid. And what I'm saying is this. You know, there are these iron poles. It's only those ones that can be constructed there, which I believe they can stand for whatever rainy seasons we have. You know, in that desert area, you can't find a single tree there. And it was, it was only a poor standing. And whenever there is a heavy breeze, then it will get it down. And with that, you know, people have been spending their money. And we too, who are their representatives, we have been supporting a lot of money. And sometimes, you know, problems here and there. As I am telling you, it is the entire two local government I'm talking about. You can go there and make your confirmation. Not one single local government. And look at how big Shinkafi is with its own environs. Look at how Zumbi, how big Zumbi was with its own environs. All no light. You, can you live in such type of situation? If you look at their economic activities, their hope is no more there. So what alternative do you put to 